What's up guys? This video is kind of urgent because someone left a comment on one of my last videos saying Casper was listed on Coinbase and I do not want you guys to make this huge, huge mistake. That is not true. First of all, it is not Casper. Wrapped Casper is on Coinbase. Do not buy it though. Not financial advice. I just wanted to tell you guys out front because Wrapped Casper is not the same as Casper. By the way, look at the prices. Wrapped Caspa at the start of this video is five cents fourteen. The regular real Caspa is five cents four zero four. Also, Wrapped Caspa is an Ethereum token. It is not the actual Caspa, which is its own coin. That's significant because they're different assets. Okay, the only reason Coinbase listed Wrapped Caspa on there is because Coinbase likes to list Ethereum tokens. And in order for them to get more people to buy and use the exchange, they thought that putting a wrapped Casper on there would accomplish that. Do not buy it, though. This is a trap. Listen, guys, Coinbase, Binance, Crypto.com, Gemini, Kraken, in my opinion, they will list the real Casper in due time. Do not look at this and say, great, I use Coinbase. Let me buy Casper. Wrapped Casper is not the same thing as Casper, okay? Let's go to coin market cap real quick. <laughs> this video was urgent because I don't know how many people saw that comment or saw this on Coinbase and are buying it. I really don't want you guys to lose money. Listen, I really care about you. I want you guys to be financially free. The only reason I'm making this video is to literally help you, okay? So <laughs> I know I'm a little uh, hyped up because it's very important to not make these kind of mistakes, okay? If you go on coin market cap and you type in Casper, Look, Caspa, the regular one, is green with the, with the uh, picture. Wrapped Caspa is black. They even got different pictures, okay? Wrapped Caspa is a blockchain-based initiative aimed at increasing interoperability between the Caspa network and the Ethereum network, okay? This is not the real thing. It is a tokenized version of the Caspa digital currency encapsulated within an ERC-20, okay? You guys have to understand coins and tokens are not the same thing a token in this case is on the ethereum blockchain so think of layer ones which is what caspa is as its own coin its own ledger and then tokens are built on top of those ledgers those are tokens so it's black tiger miner here welcome you guys back to the black tiger miner youtube channel remember caspa 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 so I wanted to create a video real quick because I saw this video from Casper John and I did mention yesterday that Coinbase was going to list Casper in the future. So I didn't want anyone to get confused or um, messed up. Uh, I just make videos to educate you guys because I want the Casper army to grow, right? So I want to get that out there. I don't care if you don't like the videos. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't even care if you don't like the shirts, although you could buy some t-shirts. But if you do, you know, support the channel. But I want to help people, right? Because I've been doing Casper, I mean, sorry. I've been in crypto for about six or seven years. And in the beginning, it was really hard because there's not a lot of information to help you. And once I started looking at YouTube videos, I started to make a lot of progress. But in the beginning, there's a whole lot of stuff that nobody tells you. Uh, power supply, power management, grounding, uh, GPUs, which ones to buy, which ones not to buy, which ones work well with different mining softwares. Problem with the mining softwares, there's kind of a lot to it, especially with crypto mining. So I think um, I'm glad I found YouTube because YouTube kind of helped me through a lot of the stuff. And if you have questions, go on YouTube um, you can't really trust everybody, but this is why I want to get this out because I want to help people. Uh, I want you to know that the Casper Army can trust Black Tiger Mine, right? I'm not here to rip you off. I don't get paid sponsorships. Although if uh, CoinGecko was to offer one, I'd probably accept that. You know, CoinGecko, we're here for you guys. But the rest, I, I really don't do any sponsorships only thing i get money from is the channel and the merch right uh, i'm not partnering with anybody uh most of these guys don't even mention me in their videos so i'm definitely uh, independent 
and it's cool, right? I'm cool with being independent. I don't have to answer anyone. I don't have to uh, check back with anybody. I can do what I want to do and get videos out. But the point of this video is the urgency about this Coinbase uh, wrapped Casper. And I did a video about wrapped Casper uh, a few months back when they first started talking about it. So as he mentioned, wrapped Casper is not the same as Casper. So I got a couple of videos on how to buy Casper the regular way or through different exchanges like Mexi, uh, KuCoin, and Change Now with Robinhood. So it's kind of exchange and swaps. But don't go to weird sites trying to buy Casper. Don't do any uh, sweet states or coin giveaways or any of that nonsense, right? You can use one of the three methods I'm going to show you, or you could use Trade Ogre. Uh, I might do a video on Trade Ogre, but Trade Ogre has been kind of slow. I don't know if they're running out of liquidity or if they just can't provide the swap. And Trade Ogre is similar to this uh, coin now swap, I think. But basically, they're just taking the coin you buy, you send it to their exchange, and they swap it for something else. But I don't know. Uh, I do had. I thought I had a video. But I'll see if I can go back and find that uh, swap video with uh, Trade Ogre. If not, I'll make another video. But remember, Caspa, Caspa, Caspa. And I think we'll start with Caspa Silver and support Caspa Silver's channel. He's pretty informational and there's a lot of useful uh, information and uh, research he does. So he's pretty confluent or pretty um, up to date with Caspa, Caspa news and different developments. So let's hear the tangent wallet or the one key wallet. Any of those wallets would work. I have videos on how to get any of those and links will be down in the description to get yourself your own personal wallet to hold Caspa. So, but for this video to buy Caspa, I'm going to be using Robinhood and change now. So I'm going to go into Robinhood and I'm going to go ahead and buy XLM. The reason why I'm buying XLM is because this is a cryptocurrency that typically has the best fees. And also it's super fast when you're trying to swap in and out of exchanges or swap services like this one. Change now is actually way faster than StealthX um, after using it. So I'm going to be testing this out here. So first off, I'm going to buy myself $50 worth of XLM here. And then once I buy that and it goes through, I'm going to go into change now and create an exchange to acquire my Caspa. So I'm going to go out of Robinhood and go into the change now app. The link will be down below on how to get this app as well. So you're going to see that if you click on the bottom over here where it says exchange, you can go ahead and select the cryptocurrencies you want to exchange into Caspa. You can see the history. You can also buy and sell directly using like a credit card or something like that. I suggest just using Robinhood because Robinhood lets you deposit up to $3,000 using a debit card with no fees. And then you could directly just buy XLM and then send it here. They have a support area right here where you can get into a chat and then more settings here and stuff like that. So when you want to make an exchange from XLM to Caspa, you're going to want to go back to Robinhood and make sure you have exactly the amount that you bought and you put it into the exchange. So I have 470 XLM here. So what I'm going to do is go to change now and I'm going to put 470 XLM. It's going to tell me I'm going to get 2030 Caspa. So now I'm going to click enter address. And when I click enter address one more time, it's going to ask me for my Caspa address. So I'm going to go in to Caspium here and then I'm going to simply click receive copy address and then I'm going to go back into change now and paste that address in click allow paste and then I'm going to click start exchange once you start the exchange it's going to ask you to send the XLM from the wallet you bought it from to this app and then it will swap it into Caspa and put it directly into your wallet so I'm going to copy the address here make sure that you do copy both things the address and the memo so I'm going to come down here and click send 
This part didn't let me record it using the app, but I took screenshots just to show you how it would look on Robinhood. So when you click to send the XLM to the Change Now app, you're gonna get a screen that probably shows the camera and then you're gonna click enter manually. Once you click enter manually, you'll just copy the address that's on Change Now, you put it in, then you'll copy the memo and you add the memo and then you hit continue. And then it's gonna ask you for the balance. Make sure you click send all and make sure that the exchange on the Change Now app has the same exact amount of XLM that you are sending to the app. Then after that, you click submit and then it should submit it. And then all you have to do is click done and then you'll go back to Change Now and you can check the history to see what's going on with it. And as you could see right now, it's processing and it's only been about like two minutes and it's already processing the exchange. It's already acquired the XLM. So now we're just waiting it for it to send to the wallet and I'll be back once that happens. All right, so the Change Now app is still saying it's processing, but if we go to the Caspian wallet, you can already see that the Caspa is already there. And that honestly took about five minutes. And so that swap was really good. I spent $50, you could see on the top, I have $48.81. So I didn't even lose that much in fees. And I think it's highly worth it for the fees because you're getting Caspa directly into your own personal wallet so that you could self custody it and you don't have to worry about using an exchange or trying to get bypass the KYC in an account. You simply just buy another crypto somewhere else where you already have your account, you already have your KYC all good in, you, in the USA. And then now you can just directly just get Caspa and put it straight into your wallet, just like you see on the screen. So change now, I highly recommend. I'm going to be using this now to buy my Caspa because it's so easy and it's not that expensive. And I think it's worth it to self custody. Your I think crypto. I might try change now. It seems to be a lot easier than how I use uh, trade ogre, but it's also not that many options to use in the U S. So I think that's a good option. Uh, I want to thank Caspa silver for this video. And let me see, the next video I think is KuCoin. And I think the volume on this video is kind of low, but we'll play it and see what he has. Mm -hmm. And then we'll and uh, video, go to Mexico. Showing you how you can simply buy the Casper coin on your KuCoin mobile app. And uh, first things first, once you've opened KuCoin, head over to the deposit section. And that deposit section is basically so we can be able to deposit USDT, XRP, Solana, Bitcoin, or Ethereum to be able to make this transaction possible. But I would advise you deposit USDT either in ERC20, BEP20, or TRC20, any of the available networks. And our next step is to be clicking on the trading icon, which is at the bottom of the screen. So once you've clicked on trade, you simply click on Cash USDT and search for KASPA. Casper, or rather KES, which stands for Casper as well. Click on Casper, enter the volume of USDT you'd like to spend. And this USDT is the USDT you have deposited on KuCoin. So let's say we deposited about $5. So let's go with 5.0. That's equivalent to 286.86 of the Casper coin. And our next step is to simply click on Buy Cast and by the time you're done setting your limit, stop loss, and the rest of those good stuff, your transaction would have been completed and the Casper would be deposited in your assets section. So by heading to the bottom right corner of the screen, we're taken to the assets menu where you're taken to your overview. So you'd get uh, $4.99 or $5 in total after the whole Casper USDT transaction which in turn you click on funding and in the funding menu, you're given the option to search by using the search icon here. So you search for Casper, K-A-S-P-E-R, and boom, the available Casper you, you currently bought or swapped would be made available to you. If you do not possess an account on KuCoin, all you need to do is use the link at the bottom of the video to simply register and get the welcome bonus of up to 3200 worth of dollars in trading rebates. Guys, uh, I'm not 100% sure if you can use KuCoin in the US. 
So if you know, or if you tried it, let me know in the comment section. Uh, uh, I haven't tried it. Uh, I did try it. I think it does ask you to KCY or KYC or whatever it is. But uh, I'd still go with the uh, first option that changed now in Robinhood. Although I don't really like Robinhood, but I do use it for option trading. There was a while when people uh, stopped using it. Everyone went away from it. But uh, from different sites and YouTubes, people are starting to go back to it. So it should be okay. And this last video is Metsy. And again, I don't know if you can use that one in the U.S. either. But here's the information. Let me know what you think about it. And don't forget to comment. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button so we can get the to set up an account here. I definitely recommend using two factor authentication and any other security measures that, that it does offer just to give you as much security on exchanges as possible. Also, after you make the purchase, I highly recommend getting it off the exchange and putting it in your personal wallet because nothing is 100%. The first thing that we need to do is fund our account. To fund the account, you just go up here at the top to buy crypto and you have the option to use a debit card, bank transfer, peer to peer trading and so on. So you're going to select the option option that's best for you. And depending on where you're located, you get some of the funding options over here, whether it's going to be GPay, uh, Apple Pay, or a credit card. I'm going to be using USD as an example because we'll be buying USDT. For $100, you can see that the premium is a little bit more expensive. The exchange rate over here is for every dollar, you're going to be spending $1.08. So if you spend $100, you'll only be getting $92. So $8 is going to go into transaction fees. So please keep that in mind when you go ahead and make your purchase. Okay, and I funded my wallet. So the next thing that we're gonna do is go up here to the trade section and select spot trading. It's gonna bring us over here to the exchange. And what we wanna do is search for CAS. And you can see that we have the pair CAS USDT right over here. We're gonna go ahead and select that. And then we get this graph that's showing us the activity that's happened over the last 24 hours. If we scroll down a little bit further, we have the section for trading, which is the first option is limit where you can set the price in the amount of cash that you want or the total dollar amount that you want to spend. We're going to be doing a market option over here uh, because this is going to give us the best possible price at the moment. So what I'll be doing right now is I'm just going to be buying $100 as an example. I'm not spending very much because it's extremely volatile. And once again, I don't actually recommend buying cash at this moment. I'd wait till things settle down because it's extremely volatile. So once you have the dollar amount that you want to spend, it says that it's going to be the most optimal price. So that's going to be the market price for this. You go ahead and click on the buy cast option and it's going to say order successfully. We can go into order history and then we can see that my, my cast order has been filled and the purchase price was 0 0.369992 cents. I'm going to go into my spot wallet. Okay, and you can see over here I have CASPA. I have 2,687 CASPA that I've purchased. Now what I want to do is I'm going to withdraw it. It takes me into the withdraw section. I'm going to put in my CASPA wallet address, and the network is going to be CASPA. And then I'm going to go ahead and withdraw all my funds and put it in my personal wallet. That's something I definitely recommend doing. I don't recommend leaving anything on the exchange, except if you're going to be trading it pretty quickly. That might be the only reason why you want to leave it in there. Otherwise, get it off and put it in your personal wallet. And, that's and he is 100% correct. Once you buy it, put it in your wallet. Don't keep it on the exchange, i.e. FTX. I know a lot of people who had lots of Bitcoin on FTX. And when they went out of business or went bankrupt or crashed or whatever it is, their Bitcoin is still locked up in FTX. Uh, uh, I know a friend of mine that was actually in the process of purchasing a house and he was going to take the money out of FTX from Bitcoin, cash it out and buy a house. And when it happened, all this in money is still locked up with FTX in the exchange. So needless to say, he's not able to do anything until they get a settlement or the funds are released from FTX. So just keep that in mind. If you have it in your wallet, right? A personal wallet, a cold storage wallet, a web wallet. You can always push it back to the exchange and then cash it out. But if it's on the exchange and something happens to the exchange, you're pretty much shit out of luck, right? There's no way you can get it back until the company reimburses you or sends you or whatever. But this is just me trying to help you guys out, right? I want to show you where you can buy Casper and make sure you're not getting ripped off. Because in the world of cryptocurrencies, 
buying coins and tokens. There's a lot of scammers out here. There's a lot of people trying to take advantage of you that don't understand what's going on and trying to take your money. So I want to help you guys through this process. So don't forget to like, share, and comment, and hit the like button. Let's make sure we get this video out and get this information to people that are looking to get in crypto so they don't get ripped off. I mean, I've lost a few dollars in crypto processing transactions, especially sending money from one exchange to another, not getting the uh, addresses right, not getting the payment ID right. So I've lost money in transfers. So I want to help you guys make sure that you don't lose on that end. But this is Black Tiger Miner signing out. Remember, Caspa, Caspa, Caspa. And I'll probably do another video for updates today. But I just want to make sure I got this video out about the Coinbase and the wrapped uh, Caspa and where you can actually buy Caspa. So, again, remember, Caspa, Caspa, Caspa. And let's get back to the money.